year ago was getting somebody to spell Najee and taking the load off of him, and I think we found that guy. So I'm excited about that part. And so I coached them both up in the, in, in, from that with that in mind. I think Jalen, you know, I came into it saying, you know, if he was playing anywhere from a 30% clip in the game plus that, um, it would be good. And I think about every game we've about hit that. And so um, does he the, – I think that Jalen's playing good. And based on what's going out on the field in terms of if Najee needs a blow or if um, – Jalen's giving us a spark or whatever. We'll, we'll make decisions on who's in and out the game based on that. But, um, you know, again, I feel I just feel really good about having a guy that you feel really good about putting in those circumstances that you feel like you can get production out of. We're constantly having conversations about every single play on there. And if and if there's a game, uh, play where he should have got vertical, I tell him that. If there's a play where, um, you know, whatever it may be, you know, I'm going to critique it by play by play. Always coming from a good place for Najee. Najee wants to win. He wants to do well. He wants he wants to do whatever he can to help our team. Najee's run last year. He had 400 and some touches. He's run every run that you could run. You know, really in, a, in an offense. And so to sit here and act like he doesn't read that or he don't see that this and that, I know he can. You know, and I know he does. So um, I don't feel like there's a there's a group of runs he can or can't do. I just think it's the body of work and looking at each play for what it is. That was Pittsburgh Steelers running backs coach Eddie Faulkner. And a big question that has come up recently is the whole thing about Najee Harris and Jalen Warren. Jalen Warren is averaging about two yards more per carry than Najee Harris. And the question that's come up is, well, who should start? Should Jalen Warren take over the, as RB1 and start? Well, as we're hearing right now, that is not happening at this point. No one is saying that that's going to happen. And if you listen to Pat Mayer, he's basically telling us that sometimes the situation in the game is different for Najee Harris. Every situation is different. He's basically saying that he's coaching them the same way and that Jalen Warren, when he goes north to south, and that's his specialty, he doesn't dance around, that the openings are there, the seams are there, and he is able to do what he is supposed to do. The question, of course, does come up. Does the defense adjust to Najee Harris? Are they anticipating Najee Harris getting that ball? Because think about it, 70% of the time, somewhere around there, Najee Harris is going to get the ball and attempt to run. So the way you look at it, it's common sense, any defense is going to anticipate Najee Harris getting that ball. So, are they making it more difficult for Najee Harris to move with that ball? Is that where some of the dancing around is, is happening? Now, Jalen Warren said he tried the whole east to west kind of thing and it didn't work out in high school. He hasn't done it since. He says he's a north to south kind of guy. He likes to just put his head down and run forward. And he doesn't even, <laughs> He does, he's not even concerned with what's in front of him. He just moves. And okay, that, that's a good thing, but sometimes you may need that east to west. So both of these guys are important components to this team. Right now, we're saying that Najee Harris is behind with those rushing yards. Now, as time goes on, will other defenses catch on to Jalen Warren and will they stack up against him and make things a lot more difficult for him? And will we see a shift I think that that is likely, and I think that that is something that can happen. Because right now, it's just too soon to really tell what's happening. But you know what? Coach is saying that he's going to coach these guys the same way, and we're going to see what happens. Can Jalen Warren become RB1 in the future? It's always, anything is possible, it's always possible, but right now, that's just not the case. That's not what we're seeing, that's not what's happening right now. So what are your thoughts on Jalen Warren and Najee Harris? You know, Coach is also telling us that Najee Harris takes things very personally. Like, he, he carries that baggage when the team's not winning. And he's, he's very passionate about the Pittsburgh Steelers team. I mean, this guy is a Pittsburgh Steeler. He's one of those players, like I mentioned before, that really fit the mold of a Pittsburgh Steeler. And he doesn't like it when the team's not winning. He takes that very hard from what we've been told. What are your thoughts on the Jalen Warren, Najee Harris thing? I mean, are you thinking that, okay, maybe Jalen Warren needs to get a little more play out there? Does, do we need to see him out there a lot more? 
What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching Steel City News. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell if you want up to date Pittsburgh Steelers news, information, analysis, and talk. We post multiple times a day, every day, seven days a week. And that's what we do because there's always something going on with the Pittsburgh Steelers and there's always something on our minds that we need to get out there. Thanks for watching.